Do you have a warrior mindset? Because that is where we are, body of Christ. Children of God, that's where we are. We are soldiers of the Lord, and we are to have a warrior mindset. Oh, hallelujah. Now, that's one of the weapons, and I'll get to those in just a moment. Uh, but this message today is about warfare. Unite and fight. There is unity in believing the Lord. And in that unity and in that agreement, there is power and there is might. And there is the purpose and plan of the Lord. Mighty warrior, dress for battle. Holy Lord of all is he. Commander in chief, bring us to attention. Lead us into battle to crush the enemy. Jesus has all authority here in this place. He has all of our, this habitation is fashioned for the Lord's presence, all authority here. Are you that habitation of the Lord? Have you made him a place in your life? Are you unified with him? Unite and fight. This not be separated because divided together we stand, divided we fall. And so body of Christ, I am proclaiming and declaring that the body of Christ has come into unity in Jesus' name. In Matthew eleven twelve, it says that from the days of John the Baptist until now, this day, and the violent, those that are full of power, full of energy, full of strength, will take it by force. But we take it together. We take it. Arms, shields, uh, uh, connected to shield. Shield of faith, connected to shield of faith. And it goes down the line. We fight this together. And in unity, Psalm 133, 1. I love this whole song. It says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren, that's you and I, to dwell together in unity. It doesn't say that we're going to be united in doctrine. It doesn't say that we're going to be united in, in well, I think this and you think that and we can't come together because I don't believe in the gifts of the Spirit and, and you do. And, and But we come together concerning Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer, our Healer. Praise God. We come together on His Word. Can you say amen? And then at the end of this, uh, Psalm 133, it says, And there he commands the blessings. Woo! Praise the name of the Lord. When the enemy is defeated, that's a blessing to me. You see, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm in John 10. To bring you life and to bring you life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It also tells us in the Word of God that the enemy tries to divide, he tries to distract, and he tries to discourage. Now, those are just some of the things that he uses. He also uses deception. But those things, those things can be eliminated and destroyed when we come together in unity, when we come together in agreement Hallelujah. And then we fight. We fight with all of our might. Can you say amen? Thank you for joining me today and, and making your comments. And Father, we thank you for this time and for this spirit. We thank you for his power. We thank you for the flow of the Holy Spirit in this session today. 
in Jesus' name. In John 17, 22, Jesus prophesies. Everything that comes out of his mouth is prophecy. Woo! Hallelujah. And he says, and then the glory which you gave me, I'm going to give them. Glory. We want to walk in his glory. We want to abide in his glory. Because he is to be glorified in everything we say and do. But he also says that they may be one just as we are one. Woo! Hallelujah. And we read it again. And the glory which you have given me, I give to them that they may be one just as we are one. He gives us his glory that we might be one, that we might be united with him, that we might be in agreement with him. Oh, hallelujah. And that's where the victory is. That's the battlefield. We walk in his glory. We walk in his, his armor. Hallelujah. His armor is an armor of glory. His armor is a glory of, uh, is an armor of power. And then in Acts chapter 2 verse 1, right now I'm just, uh, I'm just laying the foundation. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. They were in the place that God wanted them to be. They were in that holy place, and they were in agreement. They were in one accord. Oh, hallelujah. The glory filled that room, that upper room, and the Holy Spirit came forth with power and baptized all of them. Praise the name of Jesus. The baptism of fire. Have you been baptized in the Holy Ghost? Do you have your, your prayer language that you can speak to the Father and it cannot be interrupted or, or interfered with by the enemy? Praise the name of Jesus. You can have it today. All you have to do is ask for it. Every Everything that we ask the Lord for must be done through faith. Through faith, we receive salvation. Through faith, we receive our healing. Through faith, we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And then in Ephesians 4, 3, endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Now, the book of Ephesians is a war book, just like the book of Joel. Joel is a war book. Let me tell you something. It says that we are to be unified. We are a unit. We are a company of believers. Hallelujah. Do you believe the Lord today? I believe the word. Do you believe the word? Then we are together. Hallelujah. Ephesians 4.13 says, Till we all come into the unity of the faith, of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. It also says that we're to come and we love one another. But that's not my message today. My message, on, message is the new war. Oh, hallelujah. Unite and fight. Husbands and wives come into agreement. Parents and children Come into agreement. Laborers in the kingdom. Whoo! Hallelujah. There's energy there. There's much power that comes forth in agreement. In Deuteronomy 32, 30, it says, How can one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand unless they're rock? Woo! And the Lord, I sur and the Lord had surrendered them. One can put a thousand, and two can put ten thousand. 
that that means when one believer comes in unity with another believer, the enemy is totally defeated. His head is crushed. Can you say amen? There is victory there for you in your marriage if you come together with the word of God. You may have, the wife may have her opinion, the husband may have his opinion, but can they come together on the word of God? When that happens, the enemy cannot divide, the enemy cannot distract, and the enemy cannot discourage. See, we're crushing the head of the enemy. This is wartime. This is a time to come together with one in the Lord. Ecclesiastes 4.12, it says, Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Hallelujah. Do you have someone that you are in agreement with? And when you pray and when you move and when you speak uh, the word of God, it happens. It's manifest. Yes, Jesus is manifested. And when he's manifested, it says in 1 John that the enemy's work, the devil's works, shall be destroyed. That sickness, disease, poverty, fear, anxiety, depression, suicide, whatever it might be of the enemy is defeated. Totally destroyed. In shame. Hallelujah. Now I want to talk about three armies. Three armies. The first army is, is Joshua's army. You know, Joshua, Moses went on to be with the Lord, and Joshua took over his position. And Joshua carried the children over the Jordan River. But before he he left that place, he went back and he built an altar to the Lord in the middle of the river. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. He honored the Lord. He glorified the Father. And then he built an army. And in, in Joshua 6.6, 6, it says, Then Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priest and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, which is what? The Word of God, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of rams before the Ark of the Lord. This army that Joshua had was lifting up the Word of God. We are to lift up Jesus. And he says, If you lift me up, I will draw all people unto me. Hallelujah. Woo, praise the name of Jesus. And we know what this army did. We know that this army of Joshua's, because they were in agreement, because they were unified, they brought down the walls of Jericho. They brought down the those walls. Do you want to bring down some walls? Stalls and, and, and divide individuals and divide ministries and, and divide the work of the Lord. But if you're unified and if you're ready to fight, then the Lord is with you. And the Lord was with Joshua's army because it was unified. And they brought down the walls of Jericho. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, then there's another army in the book of Judges. And this army was Gideon's army. And it was against the Midianites. And the Midianites had been stealing from them and destroying their, uh, their, their livelihoods and, and their goods and taking their, their goods and their cattle and, and destroying everything in their pathway. But the Lord told Gideon to raise up an army. Now, this is what God is saying to you today. He is calling you into active duty. 
You may have been in the reserves. You may be, you may have been uh, on the, on the, the, the back burner, if you will, and you've been in reserve, but God is calling you into active duty today. This message is for you. You're saying, well, she must be uh, teaching or preaching to somebody else. No, I'm, I'm teaching and preaching, calling you. God wants you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So with Gideon, he started out with a lot, 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 lot. How many did he start with, Brother Fred? 30,000. 30, he started out with 30,000 soldiers. But the Lord says, oh, that's too many. That's too many. That's too many. That's too many. He said, take them down to the water. Take them to the word. And in Judges 7, verses 5 through 7, so he brought the people down to the water. And the Lord said to Gideon, Everyone who laps up the water with his tongue, whoo, hallelujah, puts it in his mouth as a dog laps, you shall set him apart. Likewise, everyone who gets down on his knees to drink, whoo, there's some humble Oh, he's going to use some humble people. Hallelujah. He's going to use some people that have the word of God in their mouth. Can you say amen? And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was 300 men. But all the rest of the people got down on their knees to drink the water. Then the Lord said to Gideon, by the 300 men who lapped, I will save you and deliver the Midianites into your hand. Let all the other people go their separate ways. So it came from 30,000 down to 300 because God says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to save you. I'm going to deliver you. Woo! Hallelujah to Jesus. Let me tell you something. We have the victory. We have the victory. Say it with me. We have the victory. Oh, hallelujah. But there's another army. There's another army that I want to talk to you about today. And that is the army of the Lord. And in Revelations 19, 11 through 14, Now I saw heaven open, Woo! and behold, a white horse, and he who sat upon it was called faithful, and he does judge and make war. Now, that's what we're doing, people. He's calling you into active duty to judge and make war. His eyes were like a flame of fire, praise God, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that only he himself knew. He was clothed with robe dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Hallelujah! Jesus Christ is the Word. Jesus has an army marching through the land. Deliverance is in their mouth. There's healing in their hands. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. And in this army, you've got a part. I've got a part. You've got a part. Hallelujah. And we're to come together, unite and fight, arm to arm, shield to shield. We're going to fight. Hallelujah. And destroy the works of the devil all over the world. All over the world. Did you know that you can go to more, uh, Romania today? Do you know you can go to North Korea today? Do you know you can go to Cuba today? Do you know you can go to Honduras today? Mexico? Uh, New York City? Did you know that you can go there today? You don't need a plane ticket. All you have to do is pray. Woo! Glory to the Lord. And then verse 14. And the armies in heaven clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
I want to ride with the Lord. I want to ride with Jesus. Praise God. Unite and fight. Now, he's got some weapons for us. He has some weapons for us. Number one, I just said prayer. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person avails much. When you begin to pray for Cuba, things will change in Cuba. When you begin to pray uh, in, um, in for the state of California, uh, for the state of Georgia, for the state of Texas, for the st of whatever, wherever you're from, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person, there will be changes. Changes. Godly changes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the people, in the governments, in the economies, in their spiritual walk, there will be changes. Hallelujah. Because in Matthew 18, 19, it says, Again, I say unto you that if any two shall agree on earth concerning anything that they may ask, it will be done for them, by my Father in heaven, the power of agreement in prayer. When you come with other believers and you begin to pray and believe, you come into agreement on the Word of God and you begin to pray uh, in agreement. Oh, hallelujah. There is a mighty force. Yes. Whoa, hallelujah. This is agreement. This is the power of faith. So God has given us prayer. He's given us faith. And the third one is obedience. Isaiah 119 says, For if you're willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. You will have victory, in other words. If you obey what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to say and do, then victory will come. The enemy will be destroyed. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what do we obey? We obey the Word of God. We obey. And it's the Spirit of God that will show you the verse, the Scripture, to be obedient to that. And then you will see the victory. So hence, and then we have a mindset. We have a warrior's mindset, not a victim's mindset. Oh, poor me. I've been going through this. I've been going through that. Oh, I just had blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> I spit on that. We are to have a warrior's mindset. And that's what it says in 1 Corinthians 2.16. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. And we must be in chief of his army, hallelujah, of this army that you are in. We have his mind. We have the mind of Christ. It is a warrior mindset. It is not a victim mindset. If anybody could have had a victim mindset, it would have been Jesus. They put nails in his hands and his feet and, and pierced his side and put a crown of thorns upon his head and, and whipped his back 39 times. Let me tell you something. If anybody could have had a victim mindset, it would have been Jesus. But he did not. So do you have a warrior's mindset? We've come a full circle. That's how I started this video this day. Asking you a warrior mindset. My answer is yes. I have a warrior mindset. I won't... Peace and prosperity and joy to fill my life, my family's life, and for the body of Christ all over the world. I want victory. 
for every single believer. I want victory for those pastors in Africa. I want victory uh, for those pastors in Pakistan. I want victory for those uh, pastors in the United States. I want victory for those pastors in Cuba. I want victory in those for those pastors in 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 Mexico. I want victory for every believer. And so when we pray, when we put out our faith, hallelujah, when we obey his commands, and when we have a warrior mindset, this will happen. This war will be victory for the Lord. Because his army has victory. You have victory today. You have victory over arthritis. You have victory over any type of headaches. You have victory over any type of throat issues. You have victory over any type of, of, of kidney uh, issues. You have victory over any type of uh, mental d disorder, anxiety, bipolar, uh, manic depressive, uh, any type of, of suicidal thoughts. You have victory over all of those things. Why? Because you're going to unite and fight. Unite and fight. <clears throat> There's power when we come into agreement with the Lord. Father, right now I pray for every single a uh, person who's watching this video, I thank you for victory for them. I thank you that you will give them the prayer that you want them to pray, uh, that they will put forth their faith, uh, Lord, that they will join their shield to your shield, hallelujah, and they will uh, be obedient to what you've asked them to do, and Lord, that they will have a mindset just like yours, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Right now, I release finances to come to those who need finances. I release healing to come to those who need healing. I release encouragement uh, to come for those who need encouragement today. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. We praise you. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this message. I thank you that all over the world, Lord, you are ministering to your people. Hallelujah. God bless you today. Is this finished?